Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a, another Pride makeup look. Now, like I said last week, I forgot to do a Pride makeup look in June. So this is basically week two of a Pride in Lou makeup look. So, I know that last week I did a Chapel Road makeup look, which was beautiful. I loved it. The rhinestones were a little hard to get off. I'm not gonna, like, I'm being honest right now. I hate rhinestones. They're gorgeous and I love using them, but I hate taking them off. They are too much of an effort. Anyways, so this week I'm going to do something that's a little bit on the opposite side. Um, last week I did the Chapel Road. It was very black and white. This week we're going colourful. We're going super rainbow. We're going super pride flags and i'm actually very very excited for this one because i have taken the inspiration from a artist that i found on instagram her insta is maddies.makeup so m-a-d-d-y-s dot makeup she is a she her um she's from canada and she does creative makeup so you know was definitely like scrolling through her insta um, I found her on my, you know, explore page on Instagram. So, fun times. Um, but I've looked at her Instagram. It is actually so creative. Like, you know, ideas flowing. Love it. So, that's what we'll be doing today. I'm very excited um, because I don't have to use eyeshadows and brushes because I haven't washed my brushes in a while. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay. So, the inspiration pick that I am using. She has done flowers all over her super fun, um, you know, her face, you know, underneath her eyes, which is lovely and it's beautiful and very creative. However, that is not the vibe for me. I think that's just kind of a little bit messy and like I just did my face a little bit. So like, you know, so instead we're going to go underneath my eyebrows and we're going to start off with the original pride flag. Now, not the 1978 version we're doing the 1979 six color version now the original pride flag has eight colors where it's pink and it's orange and red yellow green indigo blue and well, like violet or turquoise sorry and violet um but the six flag one is just red orange green yellow blue and purple and they do all actually have meanings because when I first watched RuPaul's Drag Race, and yes, I'm a Drag Race fan, just not like, you know, avid watching. I watched up until about season 12, and then it just kind of like falls flat a little bit. Um, nothing against the drag community about that. I just think that the original queens have always been like my favorite. Um, <laughs> but in season, Latrice Royale's season, she... Um, so they did a challenge where they basically designed a boat with one of the colors of the pride flag colors, which is beautiful. Um, and they have meanings, which is beautiful. And I will read them off for you now. The original eight colors are as follows. Um, the pink meaning sex, red for life, orange healing, yellow sunlight, green nature, turquoise magic, Indigo, which is like a dark blue, Serenity and Violet Spirit, which is absolutely wonderful. So let's start this actual makeup look because I've decided that I'm going to talk about each of the flags before I do the thing. So super fun time. I have all of my eyeliners that I have that are colored because I love my colored eyeliners. Love it. It's great. Um, so I'm going to do the original one on both sides. But, you know, within the next ones, I will be going just one on each side, just to kind of make it a little bit on the fair side.
Alrighty, so I did end up just doing up my liner and some lashes, just making it look a little bit on the cuter side. So I'm going to finish off this makeup look with my Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Medusa, just to kind of like, you know, not distract from the eyes, because I think the eyes is like the main focus of this makeup look, not the lips. So, fun times. Well, there you guys go. That concludes my Pride Week 2 Part 2 makeup look. And it's very different to last week's because last week was very black and white. This one's very colourful and it's giving Powerpuff Girl vibes. And now, here's the thing. I was going to do the masculine male gay flag, right? Like the lesbians have their flag, the gays have their flags. They recently got their flag actually and I didn't know that till I did the research and I completely forgot to put it in but I'm going to say this. I lump it under the original pride flag because when I think of gay men I think of the original pride flag because I think of um, Stonewall and I think of you know drag race. So fun times. Um, now as an ally I hate people. Everybody knows that I hate people, but I don't judge people. I'm not a very judgmental queen, okay? I judge you if you're a dick about things. And I have thoughts on that one TikTok creator who deliberately goes out, who is a transgender one. That is the only trans person that I have a problem with, okay? Unless you do something that is ridiculously stupid, okay? Or ridiculously dumb um, and very offensive. But this one TikTok creator, they intentionally go out and when they get misgendered, they call them out. And that's kind of a dick move because I'm going to be honest, I don't assume anybody's gender unless you're an old person, okay? Old people are like, you know, you're a man, you're a woman. They don't do the whole subsection gender thing. Um, <laughs> another topic that's completely, you know, not a thing. Basically, I think that's base um, baiting. I think that's a dick move to, you know, get angry and annoyed at someone who accidentally misgenders you. Because, look, I kind of agree with Isaac Butterfield here. If you look like a dude, I'm going to say that you're more on the masculine side, okay? I'm not going to say that you're a man. I'm going to say that you have masculine features. You know, if you look like a woman more feminine features it's you know it's the whole thing anyway i'm getting off topic that one creator really pisses me off and i hate it i hate them so much um <laughs> i'm fine with any other like creator okay i love nikki tutorials and i love blair white and you know i love mm, you know, as long as there's no like offensive drama shit okay anyways i've been talking long enough Happy Pride, or happy belated Pride. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you found it really informative, let me know and subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and I will see you guys next week. Bye.